Alright, hello there, my name is the Mango Marauder, and we're gonna try and finish up this Little Lover Squire escapade in this episode. Finish up everything to do with Beatrice. Well, I say try. Greetings! Have a look at my wares! So these motherfuckers. How goes your training? I just realized. You told me you didn't like myths, but for someone who thinks they're just for children, you sure seem to know a lot of them. My father. He used to tell me those stories when I was young. Oh. It's funny. Really. Even though I may be too old to believe in such things now, thinking about them has always been quite fun. So, thank you. I never realized how much I missed those stupid little stories. As much as I hate to admit it, perhaps they do make life a little bit more interesting. Oh. Don't I feel like a dick now? Melody Cheese! Ah, Squire! Is there anything else on your mind? <laughs> to the tavern! To finish up my level. I think I have some levels to gain. I'll be your knight in shining armor. Come back! I'll be your knight in shining armor! Yeah, you will, boy. I'll win your hearts. Uh, infirmary? Then the outskirts. Potion. 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 <laughs> Come, let us engage in a conversation. No, I'm getting out of there. <sighs> ah, the birds are singing, the music is playing, it is another day. <sighs> Oh, it's very... I don't know, doing only one room is very, very... I don't want to say boring, but it doesn't seem like there's a lot to do right now. Hello. Please waste your gold here. And something I've learned, which is not... You have to pick very specific choices in order to get the romance ending. I didn't know that. So, uh, I'm probably not going to get it now that I think about it. By all means. I'm probably not going to get it. We'll go to you. Let's do another campaign. You up for an adventure? That's the spirit! Let's head off then! Alright, here we go, you. You deal more damage now. I'll show you the strength of a true knight. So you say. Fight it, scrubs! I'm chilling for you! Now that was the good stuff. <laughs> Got more where that came from. Let's get that health back up. Get good, Scrubs. I'm cheering for you, you. Just don't die on me, okay? I 
always get that help back up. Trash talk. Yeah, yeah. No promises. Not handled. Hey, look, it's that wolf again, but but he's different. It is, kiddo. Looks like he mastered using his med kit. I. I just do, okay? See that, kiddo? My gotcha! I'll disarm it. Take some damage. Nah. You want to get out alive, remember? I'm helping. Give me the money. I'm coming for that. Booty. We get a good haul. Get out right with it now. Give me the rest of the money. Give me more loot. I want that money, dog. I'm coming for that booty. There we go. Did you find anything good? Try and keep gold from me. You don't keep gold from me. I don't know how this works. Please still be there, Miss Beatrice. Presence? I'm guessing, yeah. Whatever did I know? How goes your training? So, Princess, you sure seem like an expert on Cerulean culture. What can you tell me about that? Ah, yes. Though it might not be as tangible as an army, a ruler must always be aware of the culture of their kingdom. Take traditions, for example. An important part of Cerulean culture. Give the people events to look forward to, and they'll remain happy. Such things are especially important during times of turmoil. That's true! There's nothing like letting loose! And let us not forget the cultural festivals. The music, the dancing, master artisans displaying their craft for everyone to admire. And there's all the cute girls! And expensive wines imported from Alcos. There is nothing like sipping a good drink while the bards play their tunes. Yeah. This one time, Bards tried to chug a whole barrel of ale. I... I see. And at the end of the day, we topped it all off with a good old bar fight. Pops took three people on at once. Oh, oh, and the whole time, Amy was singing, like, really badly. I think she actually made people's ears bleed. I guess that helped us win the bar fight. So good on her! 
It would seem we have very different ideas of what entails a festival. Well, us commoners have our own way of partying. You high society types are too tame for us. Is that a challenge? I'm just saying, Princess. We should try heading over to the tavern sometime. I'll show you how civilians really party. Hmm. I might just have to take you up on that offer one of these days. Is that so? <gasps> Come on, Fido! Good boy. I know if, if it's in one, it can't be in the other, but I want to keep checking just in case I'm somehow wrong. I got a broken ear and a dog and I get moldy cheese. I'm the only thing that's all that's gonna happen. They don't need to work. I have a jewel box to give her a forgot. Not if we take this for two of the day. Do you want to see my wares? Gladly. There you are. My, my. There you are. I shall grace you with my presence. Ah, yes! The Ladies of the Lake! It is one of our oldest traditions. It is said that the one-armed king started the tradition to appease the fertility god. Appease? Why, yes. Originally, the chosen girl's blood was spilled upon the lake, an offering to the fertility god. Crap! Torch. Yes. Thank goodness we have moved past such barbaric practices. The tradition exists now as a simple beauty pageant. How'd it turn to that? Jean the Merciful decided that it was time to end the barbaric practice. At the same time, his son, Percy the Pervy, had a thing for girls in swimwear. You can see how things worked out from there. Thanks, Percy. Still, though, the winner earns the admiration of the entire kingdom, as well as the fertility god's blessing. Yeah. In fact, thanks to your help, you stand in front of this year's winner. Well, what can I say, princess? You stole the show. Why, thank you. Truth be told, I found it quite enjoyable. But more importantly, I have won over the favor of the people. This will help further strengthen my rule. I'm glad I could help, Princess. Hey, Fido! Oh. Hey! Ah, Squire! Is there anything else on your mind? Not really. I'ma go and prove my heel. Oh, really? I see. So much to do, so much to read! Oh yeah! Apple pee. Uh-huh. That's neat. Yeah. Home you go, little man. Home you go. Hello, please waste your gold here. I'll... Yeah, you'll take good care of my gold, so you say every single time. I suppose I'll have to believe you. Ah, there you are. How goes your training? 
Ah, yes, the music festival, where people drink merrily and public musical performances fill the air. Ooh, ooh, what's the story behind that festival? Hmm, if I remember correctly, King Curtis really liked music, so one day he picked an arbitrary day from the calendar and declared it a festival. What? That's it? No fancy backstory? Yes. Not everything has a deep story behind it. Well, okay. <laughs> Alright. I, I guess. To the archives! Time to learn. So much to do, so much to read. Hmm. Uh-huh. That's neat. Here. Interesting. So that goes there. And boom! I am an intellectual. A free thinker! Alrighty. Do you want to see my wares? Sure, I guess. A fine choice. I've been looking for you. Oh my! Yeah. How goes your training? The other day, I was busy studying the ancient laws of our kingdom. Then, I stumbled upon the strangest of laws. What did you find? It was called Trial by Combat. Apparently, back in the old days, our ancestors would settle their disputes by having their strongest warriors fight. Wow! so like, a heroic challenge? That sounds pretty cool! I guess, still, it seems odd to me that they'd settle legal disputes with something as brutish as combat. Though now that I think of it, in an age of war, it probably helped prevent unnecessary bloodshed. What do you mean? Well, isn't it obvious? Two champions fighting one another. Violent, yes, but far less violent than an all-out war. Well, if it ever comes down to a princess. Yeah. Probably Sir Grand instead. The squire. Let's be honest here. Fido, give me that. Hey. To the barracks. It's time to get good. I'll do more next time. It's time to get good. Today, and then I've been recording for quite a bit today. Not for this episode. A squire like you should buy from a shop, but for like today. Me. So I'm going to take a break after today. Or this in game day. A fine. There, yeah, that day. I don't know how to fucking say it right. I shall 
grace you with my presence. Ah, a tribute for your future queen. Splendid. Yeah, that's what it is. Totally. I've been looking for you. I am thinking of making my own festival. It shall be dedicated to the successful alliance between Alcos and Cerulea. But uh, that hasn't happened yet. I'd like to think ahead of the curve. But when it does happen, it shall be a glorious day. There should be a parade with 50-foot statues in my image. I will require every maiden to curl her hair in my fashion. Uh... And cream puffs. There shall be cream puffs everywhere. Can you not see it? My vision? It shall be remembered for years to come. Right. Go do that, princess. Wow, that's a. It's time to get good! Uh, I'll do more good. next time! Woo! I can feel the burn! <clears throat> that was more than enough, I think. Alrighty, take the outskirts, head home, go to sleep. Hello again, Pamu. Ah, uh, what did? Yep. Look at my wares. Go ahead and sell these. I'm gonna need some money, so we'll go on a campaign today, I guess. Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna need that money. I think I got all my stats leveled up to doing the beast mode training. I think so, but I could be wrong. Cause I never remember what I was doing when I previously played. Glad to see you, kiddo. Finally! It's time for some fun! Yes, start the 12th one. We're almost there. Now that was the good stuff. There we go. Now give me that money. Break those barriers. Yeah. Taunt. Reset the ferocity. So how much did we get? Enough, you. We had enough. Find anything good? Pink slimes taste like strawberries. Don't eat the slimes, kiddo. We gotta take you, good boy, boy. Now that was the good stuff. Gotcha, Captain Hugh. This will also break the barrier if I'm correct. Jackpot! 
Yep. Good and you. Oh! Maybe I should reset the ferocity. Yeah. You better live up to that trash talk. Yes, trust me. That's 30 minutes yeah. in an Trash talk. I'm Bye. trying. I'll try. Yeah. Support is on the way. Bye. Yeah. That was nothing. Um, tis but a scratch. Tom, let me break. <laughs> You girls! My sword is the sword that will pierce the heavens! Seven days per week. I was curious about that. A seventh day? What happened to it? One of the past kings outlawed it because a woman he was courting rejected him on that very day. He stripped it off the calendar in a public event that was known as the Daylight Slayings. The changes made to the calendar. It must have been quite the nightmare. Though now that I think about it, can you imagine planning your life around seven days? I can't. No, no, obviously I can't. What heresy is that? Your Highness. Oh. 
Light a candle. What am I saying? Oh, I need to go get strength up next. Okay. Got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. To the barracks, baby! <sighs> oh, God, I, I actually just woke up about two hours ago from a long-ass nap. Mm -hmm. I did not need to sleep that long. So there's always that. This pretty face has some pretty items for sale. And so do I, except for only two of them are pretty and one of them is moldy cheese. Thank you. I shall grace you with my presence. Your prized collection, so you say. Oh! Hold the fucking phone! Hold the phone! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, that's a lot of achievements worth, so we're not giving that to anybody just yet. <laughs> Holy shit! I shall grace you with my presence. Way on the Philosopher's Stone! Oh, that is so rare! Oh, yeah! I'm sorry. Okay, we've run out of traditions. We've run out of myths. How goes your training? Yeah, we only have... now. Uh, I shall grace you talents. with my presence. I'm sure a princess like you has all sorts of talents. Of course I do. So, what kind of stuff are you good at? Everything. Everything? Yes! After all, I am the future queen. I am perfect in every way. That's a narcissist speaking. In fact, I cannot think of a single thing I am bad at. Right. What about being humble? I am excellent at that one, too. In fact, I am so humble I astound myself sometimes. What's wrong, princess? It seems that I have found myself caught in a paradox. To boast about humility would prove that I am not humble. But if I remain silent in my humility, then no one will be aware of it. This is most distressing. I must reflect on this further. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, but we got the philosopher's stone. Okay, okay, that, that's uh, <laughs> I know I said that's a lot of achievements, but that's also quite a bit of a uh, quite a bit of relation. Time for some Correct. squarely gains. I'll do more next time. I promise. It's time to get it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but I'm going to give it to. I'm gonna. Oh yeah! Look at my muscles. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna go home. Then <laughs> I'm gonna save with the philosopher's stone in my inventory. Why hello there, Squire. Why hello I mean, there, Squire. Squire. I would like to report that the gift was a success. <laughs> you should have seen her face. It was even redder than yours. She was so flustered, she could barely say a word. Oh, but I realize, with all this talk of gifts, I have yet to give you one. Hmm, I have an idea. No! Extra pleasure toy. No! What? Behold, the pleasure toy of Sir Nak Shama Martu. This model is usually made for women. However, I suppose you can use it if you are a man as well. You just have to get a bit more creative. S sorry, Princess. I, I, don't, I don't think I'm that creative. Uh, are you sure? You will never know until we test it. No, thanks. I'm only... fine, really. Oh, uh, it's this uh, not my interest. Guard duty. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> okay. I don't mind if you swing that way, but I don't. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> I don't want that thing anywhere near me. Okay. But that's a good thing to mark off uh, where to, um, where to blur that image anyways. <laughs> so. Yeah. I'll be right back, and what I'm gonna do is I have the Philosopher's Stone. I'm gonna give that to... Emil, 
Amy, and then reload, give it to Giselle, reload, Kamala, reload, Vel, reload, and then I'll come back and we'll give it to Beatrice on camera. Yeah, so I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I gave it to everyone except for Beatrice. I kept reloading the save. Now, it is worth 180 relation points. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I want to know, though, I didn't check. How much is it worth gold-wise? I'm not going to sell it, no. Hello. Please waste your gold here. That's right! Five! I guess they really want you to give it to somebody instead of selling it, but still. Ow. How goes your training? Well, you're the only person I haven't given this to yet, so... Lady of the Lake! Is this really for me? Of course it is, Princess. But something like this... I hope you did not resort to selling your prized cow to acquire such an item. Hey, I've got my ways. I am sure you do. Thank you for the gift, Squire. I shall keep it safe. The Philosopher's Stone 180 right there. But I am! I've been looking for you. Tell me more about if your talents. If you want me to be more specific, there is archery. Oh yeah, I've seen those skills up close. It really came handy. Yes, though archery is not just a simple skill, it is an art form. Now I can agree with you there. In fact, the ancient Gaulmans took that quite literally. Come and help me, who are? They would strap their prisoners to giant sheets of paper. Then, they would shoot arrows so the blood of their enemies would paint shapes upon the canvas. Okay, maybe I wouldn't do that. Yikes! Yeah, um, I agree with it being an art form, but maybe not, uh, maybe not a tool to create art with the blood of your enemies. And you, who is the goodest boy? You are the goodest of good boys. Ah, Squire, is there anything else on your mind? The good boy gave me the Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> what Hello. was that? Please so waste hard? your gold here. Yeah, yeah, you say that, and I will. Thank you for. Let's get that attack up you. Well, hello there. Why, Sai? So, you hear often? <laughs> Everyone's good. Now, if you do not mind, I have some farming to do. Ah, we've received a band aid from the daily. And to the outskirts. A frog. And, uh,. Oh. Why, hello there, Squire. And uh, maybe I don't want to talk about pleasure toys with you again. I don't mean to be rude, but um, I don't want that thing near me. That's what, one achievement for getting the Philosopher's Stone randomly, and five extras for yeah. just giving it to everybody else. Training day, just training, train, 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 train. I gotta get that attack up for the rest of the campaigns. Well, hello there. Come back. So, you here often? <laughs> what? So, you here often? Hey. So we'll go to the outskirts, because I don't have time to go to both this time round. Ah, there's no true liquor or frog. Give me a fish 
Ah, I got a face. Makes it worth it. I'm going to get the same as I would have if I went to the infirmary just one item. Ah, Squire! No event. Come, let us engage in a conversation. You know what, though? I got a gift for you. Why, hello there, Squire. I do not mind if... Oh, yeah, I forgot that was the last thing I gave her. Ah, well. Nine's worth it, I guess. Not really, but I'm not gonna reload that day. We all make mistakes. <sighs> In fact, hold on. Today's the 11th of the month. We got the 14th will be Fertility Day. Then the 21st is Princess Beatrice's birthday. Ah! <laughs> so we're fast approaching on that. To the plaza. Hello. Please waste your gold here. Well, I don't really like the way you call it. I could buy gifts too, but right now I want to focus on trading. Getting that attack up could be the difference between killing some of the higher level enemies. I'll be your knight in Shannon armor. So I should be able to get this today. What? You know, Squire's. Yeah, good definitely. <laughs> Boss, I'll be your knight in Shannon armor. I'm a squire. A winning smile. Now straight to the outskirts. Frog and maybe fishy 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 fish. No. No will. I think there's something you can get at the outskirts, the castle. And the infirmary, I think the... Yeah, I think there's something like the Philosopher's Stone that you can get at the other two locations, too. And then the Ocarina, that's its own thing. But I think you get one from fishing, yeah. one randomly in the infirmary, either one. And I think the Philosopher's Stone only shows up from the dog, but it could be wrong there. So the 12th, it's a Saturday, so I can't go on a campaign today. Okay, so, I'm going to get a jewel box for Kamala, and a necklace... What would you like to buy today? Cupcake and take good care for of Her Highness, and then catapult for take... Kamala. Why, hello there, Squire. What a luxury! There you are, yeah, that's a 19 points. Who's the best boy? You're the goodest boy. Ah, there you are. Ah, this. The Cerulean delicacy, as you've told me. How goes your training? I enjoy playing the violin from time to time. I heard. Are you familiar with the classics? Staffhol's Fertility God, Ringer of Revelry, Zamarte's 13th Symphony, Tune of the Night? I'll be honest. You sound like you're casting spells right now, Princess. Well, in a way, music does cast spells on its listeners. So, in that regard, I suppose I am a magician of sorts. Guilty as charged. <laughs> Guilty as charged! Now, I don't have enough money to continue trading. That is one issue we are going to have. So we're gonna farm up some uh, farmables today. Um. Yeah, we should get there before Serana. Serena closes her store. 
A squire like you should buy from a shopkeeper like me. Yeah, yeah. There we are. Oh, there might be an event with her eyes. Why, hello there, squire. Over here even? I've not seen her on the outskirts of God knows how long. Nope, guess not. Ah, but there is an event at the castle. I shall head there now. Uh, uh, on my back. Look around for going home. Confronting me at this time of night. Is this an assassination? Beatrice assassination? No. You don't need to do anything, Squire. An unpopular war? And now, our traditions. What are you trying to do? If you are still sore about the music festival, then fall in line with the rest of the petty nobles. Petty? Do you know how much damage those commoners did? You are clearly exaggerating. Besides, I've dealt with the nobles' complaints quite graciously if I do say so myself. Your father would have punished someone! You let those peasants do as they please! Dear Marshal, if the Alcozi nobility have no problems mingling with their subjects, then so should we. You could learn a thing or two from them, you know. Learn? From them? I think not! What is wrong with you, girl? Have you grown so desperate for support that you turn to peasants and to foreigners? Your father would have trusted his own people, his advisors. I believe I know more about my father than you do, Flinkman. I am his daughter, after all. And as his daughter, you appear to not have inherited his ability to rule. It's a pity you've fallen so low. He's lucky he's not well enough to see this mess. Oh, that's a low blow. And it is a pity that you cannot see how narrow-mindedness will not save Cerulea from its enemies. Are you calling me a... you insolent brat? Careful, Marshal. <clears throat> yeah, you better hide. Phew. That was close. Squire! Ah! What the deuce are you doing here? I, uh... Were you eavesdropping? No, I wasn't! I thought you were in trouble! I heard something about an assassination. <sighs> As you can see... I am still alive. You need not worry anymore. Hey, are you sure you're okay? What's this? You wish to console me after my argument with the Marshal? Well, I... Of course I do. I've got your... Ow! What was that for, Princess? Sorry. I needed to let off some steam after that. I wish you punched the Marshal and spit your highness. Oh. I wish that as well. But imagine all the drama if I did. So for the greater good of this kingdom, you will have to do for now. That's how domestic violence starts. Glad to help, I guess. By the way, why were you up at this hour? Me? Well, I was... I was at the chapel, praying. For my father. Oh. I must admit that I'm not the most spiritual of people. But I'll happily swallow my pride. Just for him. Princess. I'm sorry about your pops. I mean, the king. I hope he gets better soon. Yes, I hope for that as well. I... I am in need of his wisdom now more than ever. Forgive me. It is getting late. Goosey. Sure, princess. Oh, God. Oh. Ah, those two are playing together. Ha <laughs> I haven't played with them quite some time. Would like to. Big event. 
and today we're going to the plaza where we'll sell some stuff. Geez, everyone's coming out of line all of a sudden. All done. Do you want to see my wares? We've already seen everything you have to offer, so... Yeah. Thank you for your generous patronage. If I could look at two irredeemable And we will give them to them later. After we go on a campaign! Ha ha ha! Glad to see you, kiddo. You ready to go? All right! Epic loot, here we come! You're damn right. What the hell did we do? Obviously, we are in the way of their master's plan, if that was not obvious. The hundred episode? No, eight. I can take. Nee. You better live up to that trash talk. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> I'm just gonna roll. Tastes like strawberries. We already have this conversation. Slimes, kiddo. We already had that conversation. We do not need to have it again. <laughs> now taunt. Hey, don't piss him off too much. No promises. <laughs> oh. That does hurt, yeah. but we should kill the hard ring next to him. Keep you in until only the bandit bait plus is left. I'm here to help! Go one into her attack, then we would break our loot. I got a little bit of gifts with. Everything? How much did we get? A lot. A lot of money. You know, a pretty face like yours shouldn't be involved with crime. You focus. Uh, yeah, get I know we get out of life. Yes, trust me. Uh, oh. Survive that, and I'm not sure he can either. So, she has 30. That does. Oh dear, 50, 30, 80. No, God, I'm not sure he'll survive. I'm not sure I'll survive. 
prepared sign. Where's my healing? Come on! All right, already. Come on, you! Now's the time. Okay, we're alive. You? What was that crazy chick talking about? I don't know, but I've got a feeling this master of theirs is up to no good. Yeah, 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 so you see. I'm just trying not to die. Nice for coming harder. <laughs> Don't all over again. Oh. Yeah, we need more healing. We need to actually heal him up when time comes, push him oh, to really? self. I see. He, he goes. So chilly day today, the day when everyone celebrates for chilly God's love, I should go to the plaza and spread the love. Yeah, so you say. There's the milk. Plaza's packed. Can what I? would you like to buy? I there? can. I can go and sell this stuff to you. All right. Greetings, princess. Happy fertility festival. Ah, yes, the fertility festival. Heart-shaped ornaments, red passion flowers, couples everywhere. It's a perfect opportunity to let the people have their fun. So, oh, is there anyone special you have in mind? It is the day of romance, after all. Romance? I have a kingdom to rule. Romance is established through long periods of time. Diplomatic affairs, and a trade of wits. Anyone who thinks that one day is enough to allow any meaningful romance to blossom is deluding themselves. Hey, don't spoil the fun. Look, I'll take you out on a fertility day date. W what Go with you. Why? No one's going to like a stuffy princess who just stands around judging everyone. If you want to fit in with the people, you gotta let loose once in a while. I... well, fine. <laughs> but only because you're insisting. You shall be my guide, uh... then. Show me how commoners celebrate Fertility Day. <laughs> fine. Hi there, flowers for fertility. Bro? <laughs> Hey, sis. Princess Beatrice? Is she your date? Are these passion roses? Ah, I see yellow carnations as well. These flowers. You've taken care of them quite well. Oh, th thank you. I'll have eight bouquets of these. And some of that as well. My father's garden could use some more flowers. R really? Jackpot. I mean... Sure, let me pack them up for you. That's a lot of flowers, princess. <laughs> uh, mind if I buy you one? If it will satisfy the tradition, then so be it. I'll have a red passion rose, Amy. What? You sure you don't want the yellow ones? Nope. Give me a red one, sis. Fine. One red rose. <laughs> Here you go, princess. Thank you. I appreciate the gesture. No problem. Now. We should check out some other stuff. Oh, poor Amy, she's sulking. Have some treats! Heart-shaped treats! Hey there, I see you're with... Princess Beatrice. 
Not a word, Hugh. <laughs> of course. <laughs> what are you supposed to be doing here? <laughs> Just cashing in on the fertility festivities. You'd be surprised how much people are willing to pay to impress their date. And on that note, can I interest you in some snacks for the happy couple? I've got hearts to hell, I've even- yeah. Fertility god! Yeah. None of those are cerulean delicacies! Oh, those poor meat slices! I think I'm going to be sick! Damn it, Hugh! You're totally screwing up my date! Oh, come on, guys. It's a great idea. Everyone loves meat. I like meat, but God, it does Not like this! Let us be off. There must be more for us to see. Oh, God, found sure fish. Yes. Please, no. See you guys around. How about this other stall? Oh, the princess. Welcome. V Vel? Well, good to see you. Unlike Sir Hugh, no! you are a merchant no! I can trust. What are you selling? Heart-shaped fish. Smell that... We're out of here. I completely agree. Come back. It no. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh, this doll looks interesting. Welcome to Madame Serena's mystical love readings. Ah, why if it isn't the princess herself? It is a pleasure to finally meet you. You're the famous Madame Serena, correct? I am, your highness. They say you read people's fortunes. I do not believe in such things, but I'd like to have a go at it. Is that so, Princess? Well then, perhaps I can change your mind with this love reading. That would be highly unlikely, but I shall try to enjoy this nonetheless. Then let us begin, shall we? With this love reading, I shall try to see if you two are compatible. I sense a deep longing within you, Princess. The card is... Judgment. Very interesting. It seems that you are struggling with your emotions. But once you open yourself up, well, perhaps romance will blossom. Very interesting. Though I am not the least bit impressed. You could have just read any card and stated something general like that. People's lives are usually mundane enough to fit any story mold you choose to peg them into. Ha! You show them, princess! You are too smart for me, princess. I shall give you that. Though I have one more reading for your partner. Me? <laughs> I'm game. Very well. What shall it be? I shall read his sexual prowess. Wh what? My, my what? What is this? Oh my. For the squire, it is. Oh my. It transcends. What? We heard really? That That's awesome. Transcends mortal? Yeah. No. Do not fall for that. She is obviously trying to appeal to your ego. Forget about what I said. It's listen to <laughs> Excuse me, it's like, it's, no, it's not real. So, this is where peasants uh, eat their food. Greetings, your highness. I gotta say, it's a pleasure to have you. It's not every day we get to serve Cerulean royalty. Might I just say, we're always... Hey, quit cashing in on my date, boss. Also, why is this place suddenly a fancy restaurant? Isn't it obvious? I'm besides, my mother always dreamed of turning this old tavern into an upstanding, family-friendly restaurant. I figure if I can make that come true for one night a year, her spirit might finally stop, stop haunting, haunting me. All right, let's give it a try. Also, you've got issues. I have my use. My use. Better. Uh, is this how peasant food usually looks like? Boss, this is slime stew! the exact same thing you always serve! Nah, what are you talking about? This time, they're made of pink slimes. The color of love. And look, I even served it in a heart-shaped bowl. Pardon me, but I think I might pass. <sighs> Sorry about the food, princess. There's no need to apologize. Actually, I appreciate the ambiance. The wooden walls, strange food, and passionate moans uh, coming from the washroom uh, all add to the... experience. Passionate moans. I can now <laughs> proudly proclaim that I, Beatrice, and you know what? No, you're not. Though I still don't understand how a single day could be enough to capture romance, I must admit, I did have fun. I'm glad he did. This holiday may be a bit strange, but it does have a certain charm to it. It reminds me of you. 
Strange but charming. Thanks, princess. <laughs> that means a lot. N now, before I go, I suppose celebrating Fertility Day wouldn't be complete Is she going to? Whoa. Have a good night. That happened. Boy, that happened. That happened to you, boy! Why, hello there, Squire. Oh, how wonderful! Ha ha ha! I forgot I was gonna learn some trade. Ba 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 boots so <laughs> Now we do have time to head to the infirmary, I believe. And then home. Ever sight. Nothing here. We do. Good. <sighs> gotta get that intelligence up before we do anything else regarding that. Today is the 15th on the six days until Princess Beatrice has her birthday. Mm -hmm. Not long now. To the plaza. This pretty face has some pretty items for sale. So you say. We'll give Thank alluring you. cosmetics to Kamala and the necklace to Beatrice. After we check for our minutes. Who's the goodest boy? Uh, You're the goodest boy! Squire! Come! Goddess! How goes once. your training? Your prized collection, so you say. Ah, there you are. Another talent of mine? Why, I possess the royal tongue. Don't tell me he's gonna take that out of context. Royal tongue? Yes, I must have you know that dozens of cooks work hard in the kitchen to prepare meals fit for my palate. Anything that falls short goes into the trash. Okay, I thought you were gonna be like a you know, silver tongue, you know, really sharp witted, but no, um. If you only knew the things my tongue is capable of. Now that can be taken out of context. What in the lady's name are you laughing about? Your tongue! <laughs> I'm talking about taste. I have a very acute sense of taste. I am talking to a 12 year old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. Well, I'm not 12. The squire is essentially 12. Now to the archives. So much to Produce do, so, so much, much to read. read. So much to do, so, so much, much to read. read. Uh-huh. That's neat. E now we head home! Yes! To bed we go! This pretty face has some pretty items for sale. Let's see, I uh, will get a luxurious ring for her highness. Take good care of your gold. And, um, a jewel box. By all for means. The 
Mala. I've been looking for you. Winning me over. Why, well, yes, I am. Now, before I speak to you like the talents again. Why, hello there, Squire. What a luxury. I've been looking for you. More talents? I. I can't say I have any more. What? But you said you were good at everything. I said that. But all that confidence was just a facade to hide my deep-seated insecurities. In truth, I am quite ordinary. Nothing special at all. Oh. Hey, that's not true. You're awesome. That couldn't possibly be true. What are you talking about? You've got all these talents, and on top of that, you're the Queen of Cerulea. I guess. But still, to be queen is but a simple title. In truth, without it... I am nothing. Damn. Who knew that behind all those talks you could be so... Humble? What? Oh, shit! Huh? You! See that? Behold, my humility. Victory is mine. With that, my one weakness is covered up. I take it all back. I am amazing and I know it. And on top of that, I am an excellent actor. I... What? Now that I have learned how to show humility, there is nothing stopping me from perfection. Uh, I thought that I was out of character, but Jesus. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just, uh... <laughs> okay. Wow. Hmm. Uh-huh. That's neat. Oh, really? I see. Fuck! Yeah. Oh, really? I could have chatted to see if it was an event there, but I guess not. But all this knowledge is such a burden. I'm not rebuilding that. No way I'm rebuilding that. No way! Okay. Go to sleep, Missy. <laughs> well, four days away. You need anything else, Hugh? This is fine, Amy. Thank you. Oh, morning, bro! Morning, Amy! Hey, Hugh! What's up? Kiddo, you're finally awake? You better get ready in a few. Get ready for what? He sounds hardly sentimental. We're going to visit a good friend of mine. I'll be visiting the king. Good friend? You big perv like you? Hmm, you could say that. So, get ready. I want to see him soon. There's no other person that he Who's this so friend of yours? About. Well, it's the king. Yeah. Oh, that's right! I remember the princess saying something about that. Yup, I was good friends with the king. You know how I didn't start out like a typical knight, right? Yeah, you were. Uh, a bush knight or something? Hedge knight. It's called hedge knight. Anyway, he saw how talented I was. Next thing you know, he made me one of his most trusted knights. I've got a lot to be thankful for because of him. I thought it'd be nice to pay him a visit. Well, that's nice of you, but why today all of a sudden? I got word from the princess. The king, he isn't getting any better soon. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Just give me a sec. Thanks, kiddo. Sorry, Princess. There is nothing else I can do. Thank you for your time, Doctor. Princess Beatrice. Sir Hugh. Squire. I am glad you two could make it. How is he? It is as we feared. If you'd excuse me for a moment, I'd like to see him. Of course. I am sure that he will be glad to see you. You wait here. Keep the Princess company. No problem. Princess. Will you be okay? Thank you for coming here today. I appreciate the gesture. Do not worry about me. I will be fine. She says that, but it looks like she hasn't slept for days.
Princess, just tell me if you need anything. If you want someone to talk to, I'm right here. Like I said, I will be fine. Thank you for the concern. Marshal Flinkman, I'm sorry, but this might not be a good time. What is this nonsense, Sir Grand? I have served the king dutifully for years. Have I no right to see him now? I'm sorry, but the princess insists on... I'll have none of that from the child! Now, let me pass. Marshal, I can't let you... Sir Grand, let him through. I allow it. As you command, your highness. What are you doing here, Marshal? I am here to see the king, of course. I am one of his subjects. I could have been here sooner if a certain someone informed me of his condition. Are you truly here to see him? Yes, I am. Then I will grant you the time you need to be here. You will have to wait, however. Sir Hugh is with my father currently. Then I will wait. Princess Beatrice, we are at odds. But I am truly sorry about your father. We had our differences. Why, we would even argue for days, despite everything. He listened to his advisors. Thus, he was respected and ruled well. The only thing I regret is that he did not listen to my advice on Bordemer. It is unfortunate, but his final decision of not involving the Alcozi was a miscalculation. I told him that this would not sit well, especially for its people. Now is not the time, Freeman. He would be wasting the efforts of people, like Sir Grand, who fought for the town's safety. You saw it all, didn't you, Sir Grand? Princess, you are a young girl being misguided by these foreigners. They cloud your judgment. Let me guide you. You need someone with wisdom and experience. Leave, Marshal. What? What is the meaning of this? You have no right! I said leave. My father is on his deathbed. Yet you bother me again with this tirade. But you must listen! And I am tired of repeating myself. Leave! <laughs> and here I thought we both could be civil. Can I not have just one moment of quiet? I apologize, Princess. I take responsibility for this. I should have stopped him. You have done nothing wrong, Sir Grant. No. I must excuse myself. Of course, Princess. I'll be here waiting for you. Yes. And I thank you again for the visit. Princess. Oh. Sir Coulter, how fair is the painting? It is coming along splendidly, your highness. I just need you to sit still for another hour. Another hour? Very well. You there. Since you are already here, help me pass the time with some conversation. Sure, Princess! Uh, that's a really nice dress you have on. Ah, yes. These are ancient Cerulean garbs, passed down for generations. Purely ceremonial, though it has a certain charm to it. Imagine back in the day, all nobility dressed like this. Ah! Stop! You seem awfully disappointed by that. Uh, I just uh, really value culture. Right. Well, they stopped using it for practical reasons. Back in the day, People believed that the fertility god would give his blessings to those who showed the most skin. Even our knights would go into battle wearing incredibly skimpy armor, <sighs> believing they would be shielded by divine favor. No. Sounds like the fertility god had some pretty good ideas. No, nah, that's a good way to die. Well, not really. Sir Janica the Bold wore only shoulder pads and an armored bra into battle. Nothing. While Sir Gallivant the Nude wore nipple guards and loose boxers, people started dying due to the cold. Also, bug bites. Bug bites. Everywhere. As for the knights, they unfortunately found out the hard way. All their vital spots were exposed to the enemy. 
Now, with that in mind, do you still think it's a good idea? Um... I think I like the armor we have now. <laughs> I think I'm cool with the armor we have now. A wise decision, Squire. As much as the thought of you wearing boxers into battle amuses me, I must say that the practical downsides are just too great. However, this dress makes me look absolutely divine! Through this painting, my beauty will be remembered for generations! Okay. Sorry about your fears. Princess, is there anything you're afraid of? I... I have no fears. As a member of Cerulean royalty, I was raised to be fearless. Really? You sure about that? Uh, of course. Such is necessary for a strong ruler. She's starting to stutter. Go on, ask around. You will find that I have no weaknesses. It's not like I have some deep-seated irrational fear that I keep hidden from everyone close to me. That would be silly! You know, Princess, that sort of makes me even more curious. There's nothing to find. This conversation is over. <laughs> sure thing, Princess. <laughs> Not getting out of that that easy. To the plot! I didn't think I could do that, but I would try. Hello. Please waste your gold here. Yes, so you keep telling me. Um... A fine choice. Thank you for- Those cost a hundred a pop. Ah, oh, shit. Come, let us- Ah! Yeah, that's, um, I gotta get my training done, and I gotta start going on the last campaign. Let's go ahead and do the... Get the same amount done for half the money, or just Time for that. some squarely yeah. games! Phew, that's enough for today. Actually, while I'm here, is there an event with you in the barracks? Ah, Squire! No. Come, it let us not. engage in a conversation. To the infirmary, then to the outskirts to check for farm abuse. As per usual, check ah, again. Squire! Oh. Come, let there us engage not. in a conversation. There is not. No fishy, fishy, fishy fish. Well done. I'm not sure if I'm on, because they said yeah. the romance option only appears if it goes red. But from what I've seen in the screenshots, it gets even bigger than that one there, so I'm wondering if I upgrade it from there, or if I'm stuck in the friendship or patterning now. That is what I'm curious of. I do not know. <sighs> Shit, and it's a Saturday, so I can't go on a fucking campaign. Hello. Please waste your gold here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go talk to uh, Beatrice. Pleasure. There we go, 23 points for that. Very nice. Pleasure. You aren't going to stop asking me, are you? No. Come on, there's gotta be something you're afraid of. Fine. If I had to fear something, it would be 
inadequacy. Aw, that ain't a real fear. It is, too. When you are in a position such as mine, inadequacy can spell the end of an empire. Mass famine, riots, huge outbreaks of anal wars. Oh. Those are just some of the things that can happen if I do not do my job perfectly. I must always be vigilant. Uh, anal warts? Do you really want the details? I have the historical documents to prove it. Never mind. I think I'll pass. Yeah. It's best you do pass. I don't want to hear about anal warts either. No. Greetings! Have a look at my wares! I'll take good care of your- You say that so sinisterly. I'll take good care of your gold. Yes. Yes. <laughs> now, to the outskirts! It Pay a bit more attention as to where the princess is, because I could have gone there and seen if she has a plaza interaction. Greetings! Have a look at my wares! I don't know what the hell I was going to do for the day. Nothing to go to the barracks. And I guess trying for the extra ten that I need here. It's time to go! Oh, oh, you go, Swire. Can't feel my everything. Help you go, Squire. Help you go. We're gonna keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. We gotta push through these days. Push through. <sighs> and we're going straight to the outskirts to, uh, perhaps, as you might call it, go on a crusade! A conquering spree of camping, really. But, you know, You're finally here. You ready? Oh yeah, this is the one with the... You ladies. up for an adventure? All right! Epic loot, here we come! And the one after is the final boss. You won't Um, why are all the hot chicks crazy? Don't know. Not like I can do anything about it. <laughs> I'm cheering for you. <laughs> <laughs> Take out the best yeah. they can. Ah. One who does the most damage then taught. Anything good? Don't kill my knight, please. <laughs> if you'll be so kind, that heal is much better. Now. And just for that, I should be better live up that trash talk. No promises. Oh boy. Get him out! Oh my god, I forgot about that. Get your blood puppet! My sword is the sword that will pierce the heavens! Get him out! I 
what a pro yeah. looks like. Lisa, yeah. the ferocity. Yeah. And takes your tons of damage. Yeah. Ow. Yeah. with you people S seriously what's going on here no, no. To patch you up. Ow. Huh. i think this is where i can get all the gold cuz they just keep some guys which like the barriers which yeah you'll feel better in no time that's all it's gonna be. Now give me the gold. Precious. We get a good haul? Let me break. I'm scoring big today! Give me all that money. I want it all. Find anything good? Just about. Yeah, yeah, do your very. This'll get your blood pumping! Master, forgive me, but I'll have to go all out just this once! She takes a shit on the damage. Money in the bank, baby! Yeah. We get a good haul? And a minute's here, so she literally can't do anything to survive. Yeah. Oh, fuck. So, we finally meet! What? Just Uh... Play up this time? Be careful. We've already we seen this. We don't know how strong he is. In fact, it would be really shit. dangerous if he planned all of this. No! Uh, how can this be? We're not done here, I know. Now, that's 1,499 gold. Hey, ha <laughs> ha! We check if there's any event first. The plaza! Go now, go now, go now, she's there! Greetings! How are you? Oh my! Greetings! How are you? P pimples Pimples? Yes! They are absolutely horrible! Seriously! Those little red devils pop up at the most inopportune times! 
On my 16th birthday, I remember waking up to a huge pimple right on my nose. And to think, there was a big party scheduled. All those people, all those nobles, they would look upon me and judge my hideously deformed face. I'm sure it wasn't that bad. It was. No one mentioned a thing. I saw it on their faces. They were mocking me. Mocking me! He just doesn't even say anything. He's like, okay. <laughs> okay, princess. Okay. <laughs> now to the infirmary. To uh, farm some stuff. Then to the castle. Then home. That's a bad bird. <laughs> it's a morning. <sighs> Tomorrow's it. Tomorrow is Her Highness's birthday. <laughs> I gave her a necklace yesterday, so let's give her a ring tomorrow. A squire like you should buy from a shopkeeper like me. So you By say. all means, keep. So you say. Actually, I'm pretty sure I had some fun with those. This pretty face has some pretty items. I was gonna go like, oh, I don't have anything in my but No, I do have stuff in my What the hell are you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? What you talking about? Thank you. Now we'll go to the castle and we'll speak to both of the princesses. Oh. It's a sculpture of Princess Beatrice. That's pretty good. Hair curls, that's... Yeah, that's... I'd take a good craftsman to make. Hello there. Greetings, princess. What do you think of it? About what? The statue? Why, yes. I was referring to that. It's beautiful. It looks great! That bow with the sword held up high and all, it's giving me that don't mess with me kind of vibe. Indeed. That was the intended effect. However... What's wrong, princess? Oh, it's nothing. It's just that for a moment, I thought it looked a bit sad. Maybe it must have been a trick of the light. Whoa! That sounds like the start of a ghost story! Actually, there are legends involving statues which come to life. That statue's gonna come and take your place by killing you. Really? Yes. They are called gargoyles. Oh, we're talking about those kinds of statues. According to myth, after centuries of standing still, some statues develop minds of their own. Yikes! Don't worry. Even if those stories were true, this statue is far too young to fit into the legend. But if this statue did have a mind of its own, I wonder how it would feel being trapped beneath that stony scowl. Forced to stand watch without ever changing face. Never being able to smile. Never able to smile, huh? Well, now I kind of feel sorry for it. She wants you to feel sorry for her. Well, it doesn't matter. It's just a myth. I was just thinking out loud. That's all. Ah, there you are. One moment. Let me give that gift to uh, Princess Kamala first. Why, hello there, Squire. You spoil me so much. Careful, I'm... Well... Where have you been? Just, just curious. <laughs> you got any other fears that I haven't heard about? I remember once when I was 12, the royal tutor had me take a test. All was going well. The final question was a mathematics question. Oh man, I hate math. Yes, as do I. 
Though I pride myself on my intelligence, there is just something about that subject. I sat there, completely stumped by that one equation, my quill trembling in my hands. When the time was up, my tutor scored me with a B plus. That's not I bad. Come on. Tears. Now, my perfect records are forever stained by the mark of being just slightly above average. My tutor tried to comfort me, but it was no use. Math equations will rue the day they ever defeated me. That's quite the grudge you got there. I swear, if mathematics were not integral to the kingdom's progress. I would be sorely tempted to outlaw the concept entirely. Yeah, please don't. I don't like math either, but uh, I don't think it needs to be outlawed. Ever. Yeah. Ever. Woo! I can feel the burn! Yeah, you can feel the burn, cancer. Get moving then. Come on! Phew. That's enough for today. It's time to get good! Get good, squad. Come on! Eight and more ruts! You like everything! Yeah, we can't go to the outskirts to the farm of us. Herbalosape. Yes. Going on. It's a death now for the king. His soul is swimming in the great lake now. Uh, oh, how are you feeling? What's this? A concerned squire? Well, you guys are good friends, right? Don't worry, kiddo. I'll be fine. It's Beatrice I'm worried about. We should head to the castle. Could we drop by the farm for a sec? There's something I need to get. Something from our garden. Is it something important? It is. Well, then let's go. I told her to look inward, to Cerulea and her people. The masses need time to grieve for their king. And what did she say? She just shouted at me and told me to leave. Can you believe it? I understand her grief. I really do. I was trying to keep things civil, but... Oh dear! Has she lost her composure? She needs to keep it together. Cerulea needs a strong ruler right now. Yes. Let us hope she does. If not... Looks like the marshal's at it again. <laughs> what a giant prick! Careful. The last thing you want to do right now is insult Noble. D sorry about that. Shadia, I am sorry for your loss. Thank you for staying by my side, Kamala. Beatrice, look. A knight you and the squire have come as well. Princess Beatrice. Princess. Greetings, Hugh. Thank you for... for... You don't need to say a thing. We're here to serve, Princess. Yeah, don't worry. We've got your back. I appreciate the offer. To be honest, I am in dire need of assistance. There is... there is so much to do. And... I... We'll see what we can do. Right, kiddo? You can count on us. Y you... you have my thanks. Now, we must give my father a proper burial. Princess, I am sorry for your loss. Thank you for your support, Lady Taliha. As a Cerulean noble with Alkosi heritage, this means a lot to me. I... 
I will strive to be a ruler you deserve. Princess, I'm sorry. Here, this is for you. Ah, this flower is familiar. This... this is Tender's crown. Yeah, you have some at home. My father has some in his garden as well. They were one of his favorites to look at. These aren't much, but... N no, these are perfect. Thank you. Uh, excuse me. I... It's okay, princess. Thank you. I need to leave. Beatrice. I have to say one of my biggest fears right now is losing my father. And she lost hers on her birthday. Please, be quick about it, Squire. I... I am busy. You'll be fine, now. Huh? Princess! I don't suppose you've been seeing anyone lately. Looking for a prince to rule alongside you? No. Uh, how come? Well, when it comes to a romantic partner, I will only settle for the best. I'm charmed by perfection, strength, intelligence, charisma. They must have it all if they want to keep up with me. Jeez, what kind of guy fits those standards? And that is why I have yet to find someone. Truth be told, I have had numerous suitors in the past, but they were always so... two-faced. They make it painfully obvious that they just want me for my status. Oh well, for now, I have no need for such things. After all, I am doing just fine on my own. So you say... Let us engage in a conversation. There's really no way to trigger the birthday. I was gonna, but... Go to the plaza. This pretty face has some pretty items for sale. Trying to trigger it all day. Where is she? Skip an hour. Because it is today, but that event. Well, I wanted to speak to you. About. It's time to get good! Well, okay. Mm, that's us. So Maybe no. I doubt it, but I can try. There's a huge feast. Thank you. Thank you. You are too kind. Can't even get close to Princess Beatrice, allow me to present you with this, this exquisite gown. gown. That is... Yes, I knew you would like it. We do think alike, after all. In fact, we should meet up for tea one of these days. I have some ideas on how we can best manage the royal funds. Over here, princess. It's been so long. You remember me, yes? I'm an old friend of your father's. Oh, yes. Uh, of course. It is a pleasure. All of your gifts are greatly appreciated. However, you must excuse me. I need a quick moment to catch my breath. There she goes. Hey, Princess! I, uh, I just wanted to greet you. And wish me a happy birthday? Please. The date of my birth is really no cause for celebration. Truth be told, it is just another day. Another opportunity for dignitaries and nobles to shower me with gifts. And I keep on forgetting their names. Um, uh, is everything all right? Not really. The last couple of months have been... difficult. What with all the complications with the Alliance. Then there's my father. I never liked these traditions. People expect the celebrant to smile and act as if everything is okay. Smile. 
even when the world is crumbling around her. Hey, why don't we ditch this party? Wh what? Every bow! We can go to the barracks for some target practice. What? But the guests, they'll be expecting me. They'll be fine. We got food and wine in there. Trust me, that's all you really need to keep them happy. Now, are we going to shoot some dummies, or what? That... that sounds like a great idea. <coughs> Princess! Come on! <laughs> how long have you been there? Long enough. Shadia, how could you? Leaving your own party? I expected more from the Princess of Cerulea. You're right. I'm sorry. The Beatrice I know would never even think of sneaking off into the night. Without her. <laughs> Without inviting me along. Milady, is everything all right? Some of the nobles are asking. Oh, Sir Grand. What's going on? What are you three up to? Um, Sir Grand, I, I've decided that this party is getting rather dull. And what better remedy for a dull party than a bit of sharpshooting? Ah, oh, I see. Well, if that's the case. You're going to need a good night to push you to your limits. Anytime, Princess. Thank you, Sir Grant. To be honest, that party was boring me as well. No offense, Your Highness, but the wine is far too weak for my tastes. None taken. Shall we go, then? We can stop by the armory to get my bow. Then I shall bring my hammer as well. In that case, I shall bring my sword. Princess is practicing the craft of war in the moonlight. How daring! A squire, a knight, and two neighboring princesses. All of us, out in the barracks. Combat training with Sir Grand. Ah, looks like this night's getting better already. Quick, if we leave now through the back door, we should avoid bumping into anyone else. Oh, how fun! How rebellious! Oh, and by the way, thank you. Anytime, princess. <laughs> No. Why, hello there, Squire. Okay. Yeah, I feel better about that now. That's probably how I missed Amy's birthday. Probably had to do it at night or in the afternoon instead of in the morning. <sighs> well, that's a shame. Ah, uh, but it is the 22nd. <laughs> to the plaza! Do you want to see my wares? To a degree, yes I do. Otherwise, no. Thank you. We need to make sure we're getting all the rep we can with her highness. Princess, how are you feeling? I'm struggling. There's just so much to do. So much to think about. Well, your loyal squire is at your service. Just let me know what I can do. It might help you take my mind off things. <laughs> of course. Please, be quick about it, squire. I... I am busy. I'm glad you're so concerned. I appreciate that. Please, let's talk. Hey, Princess! If you were looking for someone, what would you find attractive? Well, I do appreciate someone who is well-read. I must admit, I do find the raw intensity of a poet quite attractive. The great playwrights of the 12th century, the romantic poets of the ninth. Ah, whoever can quote Albenstein whilst understanding the socio-political ramifications hidden in his works is after my own heart. Y yeah, Albenstein. <laughs> He's great. Oh boy. Hello. Please waste your gold here.
by all means. Now to the barracks. I think I managed to somehow miss the uh fucking, Whoa! I can it? feel the burn! The uh romance ending for Beatrice. That was we can still go it's for time to get good! But I don't think I'm gonna manage to get the uh, romance. That was more than Woo! I can feel the burn! Damn right you can. See this masterpiece? It's a product of my squily sweating tears. Yeah, yeah. Now you gotta get straight home. We're gonna lose a lot of time tomorrow. Fine, though. Uh, let's get the heal up next, and then we'll go out and try and just beat the guy into the dirt. <sighs> An event at the castle, though. Shadia, should we at least have an escort? There are so many distractions right now, Kamala. I just want a moment of peace. Then I am glad that you don't think of me as a distraction. Th thank you for your trust. Your Highness, Princess Kamala. I hope I'm not bothering you two. Greetings. Beatrice, why not let the squire escort us? Did you want anything from us? I just wanted to check up on you, that's all. Losing family is pretty tough. I know I may be just a simple squire, but if there's anything I can do... I thank you again for your thoughts. Perhaps we should let him escort us. I'd be glad to, Your Highness. Where are we going? The plaza, squire. I need to buy something for my father. I'm ready when you guys are. Thank you. He's meant a lot to him. We will miss him greatly, Princess. My bakery's always open to you. Are you sure you do not want to work as my personal chef? I'm honored, Your Highness. But my family needs me here. My children, they need their mother right now. I... I understand. Please, have a good day. And to you as well, Princess. Fertility God bless you. Greenbuffs. Princess Beatrice? Yes? What's on your mind? So, uh, you and your pops like this place, huh? Indeed. We both shared a love for pastries. Cream puffs, most of all. I do hope this offering will find its way to him. Wherever he is. There's no doubt your feelings will reach him, Princess. Thank you for the kind words. Do you want help with that? The offering, I mean. Yes, that would be splendid. It would also be a perfect time to show Kamala our traditions. I would love to learn more, Shadia. Over there! There she is! All of you, halt! Princess? Do you hear that? Yes! What is with that commotion? Down with the princess! Go to the war! We will be heard! Our voices will be heard! That doesn't sound good. But Beatrice... Princess! You there! What is going on? Princess, run! They're armed! What the? No to the war! We will be heard now! Justice, Justice for order! Let the oppressive pay! Back! You are in the presence of Her Majesty! Out of the way! She's no queen of ours! No! Sir, are you... Beatrice? Princess! Damn it. We've got to get out of here. No! Beatrice, we must leave. Hurry! Oh, Tear down the gates! Justice for Mortimer! Justice, Justice now! Oh, God. Down with the cursing scum! Crap! They're also here! Look! There she is! Down with the princess! Oh, cozy loving wench! Join your father! Help! I've got to get you both inside. Ain't nobody gets to know what the choice. Princess, I'll distract him. Then you and Kamala head straight for the castle. No! There's no other way, Princess. <laughs> princess, get behind me! Sir Grand, are, are they gone? Quiet! Get the princess in the castle, now! Got it! I'll deal with this. It, it's, it's Sir Grand! Grand. You... You're from Bordemer! How could you? You... 
you traitor! Where is the justice? All right, listen up! Stand down or else! Who's uh, so going to them? Beatrice, calm down. It is safe now. Kamala! Why did they... They were so angry! Princess Beatrice? What's the matter? She is probably in shock. She is going through so much up there. Your Highness! Sir, Sir Grant! Thanks for helping out back there. Sir Grand, are... are they gone? The riot has been dealt with. I tried reasoning with them, but... I... I see. Your Highness, with all due respect, this cannot go on any longer. These dissenters have a point. You must listen. What is the meaning of this, Sir Grant? Do not fret, Princess. I am still your champion. This only means that now you are to be queen soon. The people of Vortimer expect much of you. That includes me as well. Grant. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must see to it that the streets of Cerulea are safe. Several guards have been injured, and there are reports of casualties. Oh dear. Why is this happening? Why can't they see? I just want peace. I... I want to protect this kingdom. Shadia, please. I feel for you, but you must compose yourself right now. Yeah. I know you can. Father, I failed you. They hate me. I... I'm sorry. Please, help me talk to her. Oh, God. You can't give up. You can't. Princess, get a hold of yourself. They may hate you, but... You can't give up on her. I know this isn't easy for all of us, especially for you, but Kamala's right. I know you can toughen this out. Those are your people out there. They can't understand you yet, but you need to help them. I... I've tried so many times. I can't get through to them. And that's why you're going to be a great queen. No matter how much they don't listen, you're still here, trying to do what's right. And a lot of us believe you're right. Princess Kamala, you, and me. So don't you dare give up on your people. Don't give up on us. I... Those are some demands you have. What... What makes you think you can order a princess around? I... I'll have your head for that. Have you calmed down now? I... Forgive me for that outburst. Think nothing of it, Shadia. Thank you both for staying with me. I... I am sorry you had to see me like this, but rest assured, I will find a way to lead Cerulea through this turbulent time. We're here with you, Princess. As Squire says, Beatrice, we are here for you. <sighs> ah, there you are. Fit for royalty, you say? There you are. How about sword fighting skills? That's attractive, right? Yes. Even the best of archers need a good swordsman just in case they are flanked. There is a reason why even members of the royal family train in the art of combat. It builds character. The grace of fighting requires both the functions of the mind and body. As such, I have always been attracted to those who wield the sword. Is there any particular swordsman that you're thinking of, Princess? Well, there is the classical hero known as Talus. Oh? Who's this guy? As a girl, I remember being quite infatuated with his picture in the library. He was standing on a cliff, his sword reflecting the half-light of the moon, a giant X-shaped scar across his face. That guy sounds pretty edgy if you ask me. If you're going to fish for compliments, <laughs> then you should try a bit harder. <laughs> You got me there. Yeah. Though, I will admit, I may have outgrown my previous tastes. Is that so? Yeah, I see. <laughs> oh, Squire. You got it. <laughs> Just got it, don't you? Oh. To the infirmary! And then home. 
<sighs> I think we're getting our heal up next. I think I said I was gonna. Oh, jeez. Oh, things certainly aren't settling down. They're just getting more and more. Uppity, uh... uppity, 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 up. So that goes there. It may not be efficient for time, but I'm gonna go sell some stuff at the plaza so that I can afford to continue my training. We're almost to the third checkup, too. I might, because of how little time I'm probably going to end up spending in the fourth month. I might end up... Or maybe we'll put this book on a separate episode, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff to sell. Uh, three pails of milk and two fireworks. <laughs> that ocarina's worth a lot more than any talking show right now. Interesting! So that goes there. Uh-huh. That's neat. Interesting! So I should be able to get this. Not this day, but the next one. Interesting! So that goes there. And this will max out our intelligence. Next time. Then, on the Wednesday, which is going to be technically today's Tuesday, but that's just because it's 12 a.m. Okay, so, it's Tuesday, we'll max out our strength today, er, not strength, we'll max out our intelligence today. <sighs> then we'll go to the plaza, sell some stuff, <clears throat> then we'll buy a gift, because I should have enough after I sell. Hopefully. Oh, really? I see. Oh yes, there's no power. Ooh, it's the premium swimsuit. And we've already seen that before. But we'll go to the plaza. And we're sitting someone's a there. A squire like you should buy from a shopkeeper like me. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna have enough for a gift or two. By all means, keep buying out. There is an event the for The marshal me. says they'll be letting more of them in. Hey, kid, quick! I could use a squire right about now. You? What's up? The princess is passing through. I thought it might be best to station some guards around the plaza, just to be safe. Oh. Is, is it that bad? Something nasty is brewing. You can feel it. So, I need you to stand guard, okay? Oh, oh okay. There she is! She's gonna sell us out to those damn pirates! Gonna run us merchants out of business in favor of her new friends. Anything to report? No, but this crowd's pretty riled up. I know. Say it loud, say it clear! All cozy aren't welcome here! You there! Halt! What? You gonna silence me, knight? Keep your distance from the princess. I don't want any trouble here. Ah, knight. You're just bloody dogs following your bitch of a queen. Oh, you think you're hot stuff? Take your low-grade tavern talk somewhere else. Huh. <laughs> Must be nice for all that muscle under her finger. But trust me, once the people start getting angry, you'll soon find out how that fancy suit of armor can protect you from everything. If we stomp our feet hard enough, even the castle walls will come crashing down. 
Mark my words! Dick. Who? What's up with that guy? Was he trying to pick a fight with a knight? Trying to be a martyr. Don't take him lightly, kiddo. The guy wasn't wrong. What do you mean? I can carve down slimes and bandits all day, but having to fight fellow Ceruleans? That's blood that I never want to spill. Just watch yourself, kid. Storm's brewing. Why, hello there, Squire. Uh, I think... Oh, I gave you that last time, fuck. To the Archives! Greetings! How are you? Ah, uh, this cup... There's a Rubin delicacy that's... Well, I got it for you. Ah, there you are. Your father. Princess? Would it be okay to ask about your father? Yes, my father. He was a stern king. He'd always do his rounds upon the castle, making sure all the guards were at their proper stations. Fertility God have mercy if he caught you slacking off. This one time, he dragged a guard straight out of the castle for flirting with one of the cooks. He stripped the man of his station on the spot and told him that if he couldn't keep it in his pants, then he'd fix the problem by striking at the source. Heights. Yes. Definitely not someone you'd want to cross. Was that like you? <laughs> that sounds like something you might have said to night you. I still Why, have to unlock this, any Dwyer. fucking options for you to come on. No, it's not possible. I, I can't wrap my brain around it. Yeah, I have no Well, hello me. there. We're gonna make sure all the stats before the end of the game. <laughs> We want to make sure I have every chance of surviving the war. I don't feel so good. Not trying to die. I am not trying to die. Finally finish off the bandit king. Mm -hmm. The bane of bandits, as he calls himself. It's obvious the man's illiterate. Come on, fishy, 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 fish. Doll. You up for an adventure? All right, epic loot. Here we come. Here we go! I'm taking that damage. Stop calling. I'm helping! Better. Don't no. no, worry, he'll kill the hard one. You're welcome. Which is what increases damage every time. There we go. Now here! Calling me. 
Did I hear you too much? So we can kick your ass. Hugh, this guy sounds like more of a virgin than me. <laughs> At least you're aware. Enough with the insults! Prepare yourselves! Um, Hugh, I guess I want to gauge how much damage we do. 50? 30? So I'm I can survive that! <laughs> Better. 
finish grabbing up all the money, then we liberate the here after we heal here. So no two is no go left. Then we heal. Then we liberate you. Or maybe we should just heal now to make sure. Now that feels better. I got you back. Money is very important. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now heal and let me break to you. We gotta kill the mission. Yeah, we could watch that again, but I'm not going to. Power is activated! Oh, here we go. Crap! He's got reinforcements! Yeah, he does. Heal? You, stay strong! I can't have you die. I really can't. Shit, shit, ferocity. Oh, fuck. Heal, taunt? Now that feels better. Oh! No! No! I'll try. Yeah, we need to heal now. Break you time. I won't let you die of it. I saw the light. Stays tipped up, see? I got you back. Oh, that's exactly why. Hey, don't piss him off too much. Guys, trust me. Okay. You stay strong. Did we get? Yeah. Uh, quite a bit, but it's got reinforcements. Uh, you can survive this road. I hope. I can tank for a minute. I need healing, kiddo. Oh yeah, I can tank for him. I'm on it. Don't die on me, you! I really don't die on me. <laughs> That's how you get it done. That'll reset his. Okay, he should survive. I took a big gun. Yeah, he survived. I could use some help. I know you could. I'm trying to help you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he does. Stay strong. Okay, we're back to this, but okay. okay. You'll feel better in no time. Okay, we can afford to go for the gold now. Yes, we can. But I want to make sure he has a lot of health. Fucking hell, that was close. <laughs> Yeah. 
Man, let's make sure this goes by faster. Now straight on. Not a lot else we can do right now. By the time we would have gotten to the castle, she would have gone to bed probably. Honestly, get our skills up and give the ocarina away. Greetings! How are you? Princess! There's something important I want to show you. What is it? I know you don't believe in myths and all that, but this is supposed to be one really special ocarina. My, my! Now that really looks special! I must say, the craftsmanship is exquisite! How were you able to acquire such an item? Well, you and I found it in the forest after, you know, fighting all those monsters. Ah, yes! The mission I sent you both on. I must thank you again for performing a great service to our kingdom. Just doing my job, Princess. You're welcome. I see you have taken that ocarina as some sort of trophy. Do you know how to play it? Uh, not really. Well, I could give you some pointers. I am, after all, gifted with musical talent. Really? That'd be great, Princess. Thanks! Splendid! Let's start right away! But right now? I don't know any songs. Relax, Squire. Just start playing. Let us start with gauging your skills. Besides, I want to know what this special ocarina sounds like as well. Okay, here goes.
Lady of the Lake! So, you feel anything different? That was amazing! I thought you didn't know how to play. Really? I was just playing some random notes. I understand that you want to be modest, but do take pride in your skills from time to time. I'll keep that in mind, Princess. <laughs> I guess I'm gifted with some musical talent as well. Anyway, there's something else you should know about this ocarina. According to the legends, I'm supposed to gift this to a very special someone. Here, this is for you, Princess. For me? Yeah. But isn't this your ocarina? It's yours now. I want you to have it. So, you think I'm... Special? Yep. Of course you think I'm special. I I am your future queen, after all. I, I deem this you. ocarina a worthy gift. Thanks, Princess. Keep it safe, okay? Of course I will. This ocarina is in good hands. I've never heard someone call it ocarina. Really never had. Pleasure. Where have you been? Hey, Princess. How's everything going? Not good, I'm afraid. Preparing for war can be quite stressful. Not to mention all these uprisings. uprisings yeah. What happened to the good old days when my father and I would travel across the countryside? Things were different back then. The world was a more peaceful and quiet place. Or perhaps I was just young and innocent. I've never been able to travel that much. Where'd you go to? Well, there was Larius, the hot springs getaway. Its natural ponds of hot water would do wonders for the skin. Ah, that was so relaxing. Sounds cool! We should go there sometime! Yes, perhaps we should. Off to the plaza to sell off some of the stuff I don't need and then to the barracks. Do you want to see my wares? I gotta finish getting up all my stuff. All my stats. Woo! I can feel the burn. burn! Yeah, you can! I'll do more next time! Promise! Woo! I can feel the burn! I'm so, so tired. I would imagine they would be. I can imagine they would be. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, tired. Oh. Now let's hope those 950 points did me some good. to buy today? I was going to buy a... Well, I suppose the gift resets because I gave a it the ocarina. choice. And then, um, a ring Out. for... I don't know. Ah, the archives! There is an event at the archives. Beatrice, you have not read a thing. Is there something bothering you? Forgive me, Kamala. It's just that... There are still a lot of things on my mind right now. The riot from days ago. The damage it caused. Many guards have been injured trying to keep the streets safe. There is also a matter of the marshal adding to my woes. He has told me that Flinkman has gained a substantial amount of supporters. The last thing I need is a civil war before our departure to Alcos. I... I would not want any more deaths. I wonder what type of troubles my father faced during his rule. I can only imagine the weight he carried on his shoulders. Beatrice... Princess Kamala! Your Highness! Uh, greetings, Squire. Yes, greetings. Tell me, 
What brings you here? I guess I was looking for a good book, but then I saw you two. Now that I'm here, is there something I could do for you? I was trying to help Shadia feel better. I would like your assistance on this matter. Hmm. Huh. Let me see. Why don't we go around the plaza? Just like we used to. Felt nice just walking around, checking out the stalls. As much as I'd love to. I'd rather not stay for too long in the plaza. Oh, right. Shall we go back to the castle? I feel that there is no use to remain here. If that is what you wish. Greetings, your majesty. Oh, aren't you the little girl from the music festival? Yep, I, I liked the song you played, so I wanted to give you this. My, my. What a beautiful flower crown. <laughs> your, your Highness, I'm so sorry. Mama! Shush! You mustn't bother the princess, okay? But, but... Forgive us, Your Highness. Good day. Oh, would you look at that. Things may look tough now, Your Highness. But don't forget your little victories as well. He is right, Shadia. You have done so much for me and for your people. Do not forget that. Thank you. You too. That was Act 3, turning on times. What do you know? What would you like to... Well, I was gonna Where have you a... been? Just... just curious. I was gonna give you a necklace. And then I was gonna head to the barracks. Get work! No! I can do oh, the my barracks! muscles, Squire! Get working on them. That was more than time for some squirrely games. You know it is. You know it is, Squire. Muscles, so tired. No sprites on this train. I forgot to talk to her highness. I gave her a gift, but I didn't talk to her. Fuck. This is very, very much to your liking. If you say so, Princess. Home we go! Yeah, I think I'm going to actually uh, just keep going. Because I don't think I'm going to make it to the end of month four. So we're going to continue this episode until the end. We got act four of Princess Beatrice's. Okay, kiddo. One month to go. How's it been? Still alive? Still holding up, I guess. Hey, fellas. I'm here with the beers. Oh. Whoa. What happened to you? A lot. Yeah. Grab this... <laughs> I know it's been a rough month, and with that in mind, good. At this rate, you've got a higher chance of surviving the war. Really? About what? Well, I've heard more reports about the Gegners. Our scouts in Alcos. How smart are we talking about, Hugh? I'm not so sure, but that's a surprise, considering how those... Yikes. Anyway, keep it up. You'll need every... So, it's been three months, lad. Yeah, I've been wondering about that, too. How's Princess Beatrice? You keeping up with her? I, uh... We're getting somewhere. Yes, and... I'm sorry, guys. It's... Let's save this for another time. Oh. You really don't talk We understand, about... kiddo. What? What do you mean, what? No prodding. No yeah, unsolicited... And after that, we've seen it. Tipsy McSwagger. Mr. Tipsy McSwagger. Mr. Tipsy McSwagger. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing going on in month four, and I never talked to Vel, so I don't know if her birthday's this month, but don't tell me what that. Oh. Oh, there's one at the castle and one at the infirmary. Oh. Uh, one's with Kamala, one's with her highness. Fuck. The infirmary. The 
This is the result of your negligence, girl! Jesus Christ. My negligence? Well, from what I've heard, Marshal Flinkman, a certain noble has been inciting rebellion. All those innocents injured in the riots, if the man responsible for such things were caught, why, they'd face treason. You have no proof, child. Be careful of those accusations. The nerve of that man. Princess Beatrice! Sir Grant! Greetings. Greetings, Squire. Are you here for a checkup? Oh, I was just dropping by, Princess. What about you? I am here to aid the infirmary. They are currently treating those who were hurt during the riot days ago. No one deserves this. Whether they supported the Alliance or not. I see. Since you are here, Squire, would you kindly assist Sir Grand and I? Of course, Princess. I wish you a speedy recovery, Guardsman. You have served the realm well. Thank you, Your Highness. Need a break, Princess? You did see a lot of our men today. No, it is not that. I was just thinking that at my command, people could live or die. After seeing all these wounded people, I still cannot fathom how my father handled seeing such consequences. He was always so stern and resolute. I, on the other hand, well, you saw how I handled my first riot. This is the burden of those who rule, Princess. It is as you say, Sir Grant. I cannot let the Marshal go unanswered for this mess. I cannot let this happen again. Then you must make a decision soon, Your Highness. Yes. Yes, I should. I have to secure my place in this world. Just like Father taught me. I have to. The Marshal and his men. I must. I must take action. They must be dealt with. Princess, are you really gonna... Yes. It must be done. Oh, God, um... I want to tell her it's hard, but do what you have to do. But I want to see him taken down a peg. But you gotta be worried about it, right? Right. Will you be able to handle Are you it? ready for that, Princess? Excuse me? What are you trying to say? I meant... Can you see that through? Your plan with the Marshal. Are you implying that I have no backbone? Of course I will! I will not be that scared little girl from the riots anymore! Okay. Well, it's just that you look like you don't want to. Like you're having second thoughts. So, you do think I lack the resolve for this? Princess, you don't lack anything. Sure, you had it rough. But you got back up again. That's resolve to me, Princess. You're doing what you can on your own right. You don't have to follow in anyone's footsteps, even if they are your father's. Y you... you... imbecile! You can call me whatever you want, but the Beatrice I saw at the music festival was someone who wanted to do things her own way. You wanted to change things back then. You thought about what you wanted. Think about what you want right now, Princess. What are you going to do? I think we got through the world. I made you angry, Your Highness. I apologize. I'll show myself out. Yeah, there, I, I could reload, but uh... Okay. Oh. Please, let's talk. Secrets. What's this? You wish for me to divulge my royal secrets? Well, not if you don't want to. I thought you would never ask. <laughs> I find there is a certain joy when it comes to telling secrets. It is a cathartic release of something that has never been spoken before. Like, for instance, when I was ten, I found a secret passageway hidden in the castle quarters. It was a secret tunnel behind one of the toilets. It was probably made by the first king. What a clever man. Uh, princess? The tunnel was enchanted with a magical green substance that emitted foul odor. At its end was the lake. I have no doubts that it was a secret means of escape if the royal family was ever attacked. Beatrice, that's a sewer. When I was young, I used the passage to sneak out of the castle from time to time. 
Unfortunately, the tunnel is far too small for me now. Princess, that was a sore. What? No, that couldn't possibly be a... Actually, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> that means all that slime was... Jumping Lady of the Lake! I need to go take a shower. But you said that was years ago. I still need to wash it off my mind. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> oh. 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 Potion of taint. Okay. <laughs> uh. Well, to the barracks we go. Finish up our training. Woo! I can feel the burn. Feel that burn, Squire. I'll do more. Woo! I can feel the burn. Feel that burn. I'll do more now. It's time. I don't care if you get away tomorrow. Get that burn going. That was more than enough. I think. Remember, Princess, shooting a bow while on horseback is very different from firing when you are on solid ground. The trick is in the legs. You want to... I know, I know. I'll use my legs to steady my aim. Excellent, Your Highness. Hey, Sir Grand, how you doing? I am fine. Uh, hey, Princess. That's one hell of a horse you got there. Of course. She's a purebred Cerulean strider. Let me introduce my loyal mare, of course. Cream Puff. Of course, it's called Cream, Cream Puff. Puff. <laughs> oh, hush, Squire. I was nine when I named her. Anyway, you're just in time to witness a display of my mounted archery skills. I say, the thrill of letting an arrow loose at high speeds is quite remarkable. In that one second, when your arrow hits its mark, you get a quick glimpse of true glory. Sounds exciting, Princess. It is. I'll show you. Now, would you help me on my horse, please? Sure thing, Princess. CG? Yep. <laughs> True glory. <laughs> okay. Would you mind stepping back? If you don't move, Cream Puff might kick you. Oh, the sure thing. Are you okay? You seem a bit flushed. I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> Heaven, does he hear? What goes on in that mind of yours, I wonder? <laughs> you... You will never know. I appreciate your presence. Before I tell you anything, I must ask you this question first. I'm all ears, princess. During those hot summer days, do you... Huh? Is it normal to... Let's say... What is it, Princess? Is it normal to forego wearing undergarments? Oh, that? Oh, of course I do! I do. do that all the time! Why'd you ask? Uh, oh, it's nothing. I was just curious. What a relief! So, I guess it is normal. Oh. What was that, Princess? Like I said, it's nothing. Oh, okay then. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Not what I expected to some hear. squarely gains. <laughs> hello, hello. Can't feel Won't complain. My everything. You can't feel his everything, guys. That is a sign of a true warrior. Not really, but you know. <laughs> <sighs> Almost 
just there. I almost got strength out of the wheel. That's a good thing. And there's... Oh! Got him. Fuck. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck! Fuck it. Please, reconsider, Kamala. Uh, I do not know, Shadia. I'd like to think that these nobles invited you to this trip for a reason. Besides, I will also be there. All things considered, I see no reason to turn them down. Um, if I may speak, Princess Kamala, a lot of us are also excited to see- Nope. Ahem. Sir Hugh? Yeah? I mean, we're excited to see you mingle with us. I... I am delighted by this invitation, Shadia, Knight Hugh. A certain someone's ulterior motive aside, joining this little gathering will prove to be another excellent diplomatic move for us. If we play our cards right, Kamala, they are slowly changing their minds. We must strike while the iron is hot! And it's another excellent opportunity for everyone watching, I say. Hugh. Hush, you devil! For that behavior, you are dismissed! I... I was just trying to help you convince her, princess. No, you weren't. <sighs> my, my, my. Careful, young man. <laughs> Lady Shira! Hello there. Hey! What are, what are you doing here? Why, what else? I am practicing the fine art of eavesdropping. You see, young man, even someone as frail and old as I still feels the need to sharpen their skills. My listening skills. My skills with a blade. Uh, what about you? What are you doing here? Uh oh! Uh, ha ha! Um, uh, I... Uh... Truly? Please don't tell anyone! <laughs> Not to worry. A little curiosity never hurt anyone. And who knows, perhaps with that someone like you might also become a Ragni one day. Ooh! What's a Ragni? Yeah. Ah, it is always trying to explain what we are exactly to the simple folk. We are the hand that ushers the king, young man. Uh, so... a handmaiden? <laughs> no, 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 no. While we do clean up his mess from time to time, we are more than that. We are the guides to the great Rava in ruling the kingdom of Alkos, his most trusted advisors, so to speak. Of course. Just like a hand, the Ragni of Alkos also has five fingers. Cool, 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 cool. So, which of the five fingers are you? The thumb. The middle finger. Oh. Oh! oh! Shira, spare the poor squire your jest. My apologies, your highness. I was just passing time. But I trust that you are done with your business here. I... will... At least consider it, Kamala. It would not hurt. <sighs> Very well. If you insist, I shall reconsider the importance of this gathering. Thank you, Shadia. Excellent. Now, if you'll excuse me, it is time for tea. I had the servants prepare your favorite for our meeting today. Lady Shira, you are welcome to join us, if you wish. There is something I want to discuss about the Alliance. Certainly, Your Highness. Kamala? Uh, I will be joining you soon, Beatrice. I must first attend to something. Of course. I will be in the garden as usual. Shall we, Lady Shira? Lead the way, Your Highness. I might as well get going. See you, Your Highness. Uh, so Squire! Oh, wait. There is something I need to ask of you. The plaza again? I've got the time. No, it is not about that. Squire, do you, uh... Can you swim? Oh, yeah. Everyone here knows how to swim. Well, you see, uh... You don't. I... I cannot swim. Uh... Wait, what? 
but at the festival, if you won, you would have... I uh, know. I thought it was luck that I did not get picked, but clearly the goddess is not yet done with me. Oh, why must she test me like this? If those nobles find out that I cannot swim... Oh, no. Please, your silence on this matter will be appreciated. I will admit that, and I will have no one else to ask, so... Uh, so please educate me on swimming maneuvers. Uh, yeah, you do. Teach you? Sure thing. Y you will? I, I mean, that would be most delightful. Uh, but please, missing such an of important course. event due to my inadequacy would be a shameful display. Hey, I'm here for you. Just tell me when. Now. N now? I didn't think it'd be this soon, but... Oh, we cannot do it today? No, we can't. no, 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 no. You know we what? Can't. Now would be great. Just meet me at the forest. Will they not see us there? Don't worry. I know just the place for this. Oh, your enthusiasm is a great relief, Squire. <laughs> so am I, Princess. I shall see you later, then. Trust from a noble, that feel... You've gotten a lot of trust from Beatrice, boy. Are you certain that no one will see us here, Squire? Aside from that frog. Yep. Amy and I found this place when we were young. It's one of our many hideouts. Very well. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you... What are you... I, is something wrong, Squire? No, you're... pretty fine. I was referring to you. You seem very surprised. I... I mean, I'm fine. Really. <laughs> you know what? We, we should start now. We, we should. I agree, but please be gentle with me. I did not enjoy my first lesson as a child. They left me with unpleasant memories. Okay, that's just all taken out of context. It's not good. Well, my robot threw me into the pool. Ooh. That's not very nice Wait, of him. Wait, what? That's not very nice of him. And my rekick would force my head underwater like he was trying to drown me. What is wrong with your family? Please, Squire. We might not have the best relationship in the world, but they are still what you said they are to me. Family. Still! Who does that? I think it is their way of helping me, however misguided it may be. My inability to swim. It is seen as a weakness for Nalkozi. And for the eldest member of the Copperheart family to have such a... I must never be seen with such a weakness. I cannot look weak in front of my people. So please, Squire, I must learn today. Don't worry, Princess. You will. And if you don't, well, old man Charles told us that this is where the fertility god would do his godly stuff in the old days. You know, blessing young maidens, curing the sick, submerging your body in water, that sort of stuff. Because magic water from the lake and all that. Maybe it'd help you swim. <laughs> I do not think my inability to swim is an illness to be cured, Squire. Eh, worth a try. Now come on! We won't know if we don't start. You have my gratitude. Well, you've got the breathing right. You want me to try and let go again? But please, Squire, not yet. You have seen what happens when you do that. Uh, just a little more, please. I, I shall get used to this soon. Uh, but do not let go yet, okay? Of course. I've got you. A few more minutes of practice should have hurt. <laughs> no ulterior motives, my ass. Princess! How was that, Squire? Did I manage to beat your record? <laughs> Not a chance. But you almost got it. You actually had me worried there. So do I. But I am actually feeling better after this prolonged immersion in the water. I feel like I could do anything now. But perhaps there is truth to this magical lake of yours. <laughs> I doubt it, but if you say so. We shall see. Shall we continue with the swimming maneuvers then? You ready for that outing thing now? Perhaps. <laughs> but it is all thanks to you. I shall take those maneuvers to heart. <laughs> it's nothing. Can't wait to see you put all that training to use. I'm As am I. I will be sure to repay you for this kindness, and your kindness for the alehouse visit as well. There is a lot I owe you now, it seems. But that is for another time. There is much I need to prepare for. Oh, how exciting! You seem to be having fun, your highness. Shira! Oh, you would not believe! You did not show up for tea. Oh. I believe Princess Beatrice had things she wanted to discuss with you about the Alliance. Oh. I... Oh... Oh, goddess 
forgive me. I did not notice the time. I will be sure to give her my apologies later. But Shira, oh, you will not believe what- Do you really think that by doing all of this, they will accept you? Oh. I... Of course. I am trying my best. You have seen- All I'm seeing right now is a little girl carelessly toying with responsibilities still too big for her shoulders. You are a princess of Alcos, your highness. You have duties to your kingdom. Your people are counting on you. Do not forget that. We did not come here to play. We have wasted enough time here. It is time for your lessons. I... Yes, I have not forgotten. I... I will be with you in a moment. Do not make me wait. Wow. I didn't know she could be that scary. <laughs> Shira... Shira did not become a Ragni of our kingdom by being a gentle soul, Squire. Yeah, but are you okay? I... I am. Uh, please do not think too much on it. Besides, she has every right to be cross with me. Oh, I reckon Beatrice is not too pleased about my absence either. Uh, okay, if you say so. Uh, forgive me that I must leave you like this. I thank you so very much for today. your gold here. Oh god, stuff costs even more now. By all means, keep buying. By all Jeez. To the tavern! You know, squires make good letters. <laughs> Everyone's good. Yeah, squire, they're feeling fuzzy. Sure. Strength up. Oh shit, I'm not done there. Okay. I should go to the outskirts though first. What is she doing? You're all alone? Did she go swimming or something? Well, whatever it is, I can't leave her like Princess! This. Lady of the. You. You gave me quite a fright. So, what brings you to these parts? Well, I am trying to be at peace. I thought I'd cool off my feet here in the river. You've got your bow. Are you practicing? Yes, and I think I should get back to... Hey, wait! Why don't you relax a little more? Yes, I would, Squire, but... There is no choice here. Your eyes betray you. My face is up here. <laughs> <laughs> What? No apology? Uh, forgive me, your highness. It's just that you're always in a dress, and- And you thought it proper to stare? My, my. Is this how the mind of a pervert works? Look, I'm sorry, princess. I'll try not to do that again. Try? <laughs> well, at least you are being honest. Hey, I was just wondering. Why isn't anyone with you? I told you. I wanted some peace and quiet. Besides, I survived that riot. With your help, of course. You never know, Princess. You should still take someone with you. You do prove to be an efficient boar shield. Very well. You may escort me. You have 
gotten better, Squire. It seems my pointers have benefited you. But it appears that I'm the better shot. I believe that's two victories for me. Well, you've got years ahead of you, Princess. Just give me some time and I'll make things more interesting. Make sure that I do not have to wait for too long. I'll make sure of it. Oh, and nice bow, by the way. Maybe that's why you're awfully good at this. Oh, this? It is... It was a gift from my father. Oh, I'm sorry. Think nothing of it, Squire. You have said nothing wrong. You see, I was tired of moping around all day, so Kamala urged me to do something else. My father and I enjoyed this, so I figure some archery would put me at ease. And it does. There's no one to bother you with concerns of the kingdom. There is but the sound of the birds, and the wind rustling through the leaves. I'd say I'm born to rule, Squire. But it does pester me sometimes. I admired my father. He did what had to be done. When it came to the affair of his subjects, he would not have any nonsense. Some say he ruled with an iron fist, and I would not argue with that. And that is when it dawned on me. What you told me before, if I could handle things, if I could carry the weight of ruling the way he did, I can only follow his footsteps for a while. The rest of the trail, I must make my own. You and Kamala have shown me a different side to things. You both told me that compassion was not a weakness. When I played on that stage at the music festival, something felt... right. I must. I need to be myself. I have to. After all these years wasted on politics and the affairs of snivelly nobles. Oh, forgive me. I'm starting to ramble now. Hey, don't sweat it. I'm just surprised that someone thought a lot about what I said. That doesn't happen very often. And besides, I like listening to you. I... Even if you do get a little harsh. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What's the matter? Oh, nothing. I'll let you off this time. Now, about you, Squire. What about me? I've told you something about myself. Why don't you have at it? It seems only fair. Since I've told you about my father, why don't we talk about Princess. yours? Oh! Well, you see, I don't have a lot of memories with both of my parents. I lost them. The bandits. They raided the village I lived in. I am sorry to hear that. I'm glad Pops took me in. I didn't know what I'd do after. On behalf of the Crown, I am sorry for not preventing such a tragedy. We do what we can, Princess. Is this why you want to become a knight? Yeah. Then I look forward to your progress. Don't forget to save a spot on your vanguard for me, Princess. Hmm. All that talk of greatness, yet you can't even hit your mark. It looks like I must give you another lesson. So you say. Even more topics now. I appreciate your presence. Ah, this cup. <laughs> Hey, Hugh! Fish? Jumping Lady of the Lake! Fuck yeah! By my side once again. Thank you. Princess, with all the things happening lately, I had no idea <sighs> the kingdom was so, so uh, complicated. Can we do the same thing you did before with Philosopher's Stone? Yes. All these politics are getting quite stressful. However, I must remain strong. Cerulea is used to having kings, not queens. A female mark has ruled before, but I believe that the people are still wary about the idea. If you ask me, this whole thing is absolutely silly. King, queen, why does that even matter? Just look at Sir Grand. She is objectively the strongest knight in Cerulea. Many men have tried taking her place, but they have failed. Moving forward, I hope to dispel such prejudice entirely. Okay, we're g <laughs> After this, we're gonna go home. We're gonna save. Just in case, we'll do it on a separate, uh, area too. We'll do it on a separate save file, just to make sure in case this is the end of the game, for some reason. 
already gave her. I already can't even give it to her anyways. Woo! I can feel the burn! Feel that burn, Squire! Yeah! Hey! Perry! To the tavern. Shit, don't have enough time to get home without issue. That is. Who are In fact, you know what? No, I doubt it. I just unlocked the new things. I shouldn't. It shouldn't be over yet, right? He can't possibly be over yet, right? Right? <sighs> Finally, you're awake. You? What's going on? Come on, we have to move fast. What's your we have to protect the princess. I'll explain things on the way. Okay, there's right. some going on. On it. Okay. Never mind, um... There you are! You shouldn't be playing outside! It isn't safe! Now come here, quick! Uh, Hugh? The plaza isn't supposed to be like this. It's too... quiet. That's because the marshal will be staging his coup today. A coup?! Yeah. He's gathered all his men somewhere in the kingdom. Right now, we need to be ready to defend the castle. But that means... Yes. We'll have to fight our fellow Ceruleans. Damn it! I don't like this either, Squire. But we swore oaths to protect the crown. Now, pick up the pace. We can't waste any time. The son of a bitch! Formation! Ha! How are the men, Grand? They won't get past us. I'll make sure of it. With you on the front lines, I doubt they will. The son of a bitch. You! Do you hear that? Yes. They're here. Everyone! To your positions! What's this? It's a pity to see you all throw your lives away for some girl who knows nothing about ruling a kingdom. You had your chance to join me, but I see you're all keen to sell yourselves to foreign dogs. But do not worry. When I emerge victorious from this battle, you will all look down from the Great Lake and see a stronger Cerulea under my banner. That is if you win, Marshal. Princess! Your Majesty! Princess Beatrice! You aren't supposed to be out here! What kind of ruler stays hidden while her troops are on the front lines? I will not be remembered as a coward! Besides, I have a plan, Sir Hugh. Trust in me. Uh, as you wish, Your Highness. Well, well, well. If it isn't the little girl playing princess. Not hiding in the castle, are we? Indeed. Because I do not see my fellow Cerulians as the enemy. The Gegners are. All of you, listen! Now is not the time to fight amongst ourselves. The Gegners are ruthless conquerors. Cerulean and Alcozy will not matter to them. What about Bordemer? We will not lay down our lives for those Alcozy snakes! I am not telling you to forget about Bordemer. I am telling you to think about its future! Gegner's win. Mortimer will have no future. Every one of us will have no future. But if we stop fighting amongst ourselves, if we stand together with the Alcozi, all our futures can stand a chance. There is no future with those foreigners. And if none of you understand that, then we shall convince you with steel. Men! Formation! No! No more death! Listen, Marshal. I do want peace. I do want what's best for my kingdom. And therefore, as the fertility god is my witness, I invoke our most ancient of laws. Trial by combat. What? You know the law. A battle of two champions, engaged in single combat. The winning party decides the fate of the defeated. I will not follow such outdated traditions. What's the matter, Marshal? By invoking this trial, we will not be causing any unnecessary deaths. Only two fighters will be locked in combat. And still, they may yield at any time. Silent, I see. Do you fear defeat? Fine! I will play this silly game of yours. I myself will be fighting in this trial. 
but I doubt that you will be participating. So tell me, please, who will fight me? You? Are you going to do it? If no one else does. Looks like this will be the duel of my life. <laughs> Look how hesitant they are, child! It seems you're not as great of a ruler as you think. I will be her champion. Sir Grant? <gasps> Grant? You of all people! Yes, Sleepin. You shall face me. Sir Grant, you volunteer. Have you gone mad? Why? Why? It is because I made an oath to protect Cerulea. And right now, the princess has the kingdom's best interest at heart. You, however, have pitted Cerulean against Cerulean. Tell me, what good would this do for our home? Your home is Bordemer! Have you forgotten it, woman? I will never forget it. But your methods aren't the only way of restoring our home. Mine is the only way! If that is your answer, Marshal, then ready your arms! Traitor! Traitor! I'll show you all! Yeah! Let's see how much you can take, old man. Oh. Oh. Yield. What are you talking about? I have just begun. Yeah, too slow. Hmm. Ah! I'm ah! Another big slow. Ah! Had enough, Grand? But bring it. Can't you yield, up? Grand? I know you still care for Bordemer. I do, and that is why I will not yield. Then die with that brat! It is time to end this! Yeah! A big swing of his own. What? what? No! Not today! Yeah. Yield! Yield, Flinkman! I... I yield. If only I could have been animated, that would be You're amazing. coming with us, Flinkman. May the fertility god have mercy on you. I... I am ready for my fate. Whoa. You, you! I can't believe it! We won! We didn't have to fight! So this was her plan. Clever girl! Yeah? The trial has concluded! <laughs> <laughs> Fellow Cerulians, let this day be a reminder that bloodshed is not always the answer. Let this day remind you that we, as Cerulians, must, must stand, stand together, together no matter the odds. And as your new queen, I promise to stand with you, to lead you through whatever challenges we face. This, I swear. Hail Queen Beatrice! God bless the Queen! Okay, now, now is everyone still... No, not everyone is, no, they should be. Please don't let tomorrow be the end, I still need to give the gift away. Please, I have this fish. Please. Oh, no, no, don't look, don't look, don't look. I'm saving over slot six just in case. You. Hey, kiddo. So you're here early. We're being summoned by the princess. She wants to gather everyone for this big announcement. Drop by the castle. Don't miss this. Hey, don't sweat it. I'll go as soon as I can. Make sure you do. I'll see you there. We're not getting a break, are we? Kiddo, you're just in time. Quick, the princess is about to start. Fellow Cerulians, today will be a day that will go down in history. We are a strong people, a proud people. We have stood on our own for centuries, 
but as we continued to grow, we discovered that we are not alone in this world. We have accepted this fact recently, as our trade with the Kingdom of Alcos flourished through the years. But now, perhaps it is time for us to fully embrace a bigger world. The Alcosi have seen this world far earlier than we have. They have seen its wonders and its dangers. They have taken it upon themselves to warn us about these dangers. These Gegners would endanger our peace, our way of life. Will we let them destroy everything we have built? No! Will we let the Fertility God frown upon us with disappointment? No! Then let us face the world's dangers with our new friends, the Alcozi! Yeah! <laughs> let this day be known as Alliance Day! That's it, that's... Yeah! <laughs> I am aware that such a decision may not be agreeable with some of our fellow Cerulians. Some misguided individuals took drastic action, causing an unnecessary rift between us. What do you what think, she's, you think she's doing? I got a question on face. However, I stand here, hopeful to mend this wound. And one of my first steps to mending this wound is to deliver justice to the traitor behind all this pointless loss. For crimes against the crown and disturbing the divine order of this land, you and your house will be banished to the islands of Varpast. May fate be merciful. Men, take him away. Let there be no more Cerulean lives lost on this matter. As a people, we must forge on ahead as your new queen. I will see to it that we will rebuild the coasts and win the war against these Gegners. This I promise you. Now, let us commence the celebrations of this new friendship. Yeah! yeah, you should. Princess, are you sure? You mean the exile? I am, Sir Grand. I've had enough of this bloodshed. I understand that, my queen. Tell me. Is this what my father would have done? Though I cannot speak for the late king, I believe he would have done otherwise. But you should not concern yourself with that anymore, my queen. It's your rule from now on. I look forward to it. I see. Thank you, Sir Grant. Thank you. Always at your service, your highness. Now, if you'll excuse me. Greetings, your highness. Oh, squire. That was one hell of a speech, princess. I, I mean, my queen. Thank you. Did I look... nervous? Nope. No, you were, uh... queenly. Thank you. It did not look like it, but I was actually shaking. Perhaps I will get better in time. I don't doubt that at all, Princess. That... I mean, queen. Sorry. It's become a habit. Fear not, Squire. I forgive you. For now. <laughs> so, what are your plans after all this? Aside from preparations for the war, of course. Hmm. My immediate plans for today, you mean? Let us see. For now, I would rather just enjoy this moment. Neat! How about a dance, then? A, a dance? I am not so sure, Squire. I am not well versed. Hey, come on, Princess. We'll make it up as we go. Very well. I shall make an exception for today. One of my goals has come to fruition, after all. Squire, those are the most awkward moves I have ever seen. Well, it beats one of those slower ones you made me do. Regrettably, those are the only ones I know. I do want to learn more in time. Hold on, the band is preparing for the next tune. Are you ready? Beatrice, what is the meaning of this? Kamala, what is wrong? You have been dancing all this time without me. <laughs> well, I... Squire, stop hugging her. <laughs> it is my turn to dance with the queen. Uh-uh. That was your first. No. Oh. Now don't make that face anymore, Kamala. Come, let us dance. Oh, joy of joys. Squire, I believe you must leave us for now. She might break the alliance if I do not give her this. Fine. Yeah, where is he? You will never drink with him. Oh. Cheers! Uh, you? 
Yeah, kiddo? If you puke, I'm not gonna carry you back home. Zombie so Oh, it's Sir Chrome. Ugh, you're on your own. It yeah. appears your mentor is in his natural state, Squire. You mean drunk or an idiot? Both. Hey, I won't argue with that. Anyway, it looks like you had a lot of fun with Princess Kamala. Yes, but she is still sore at you. What for? That you stole my first dance, of course. She'll get over it. <laughs> a trip to the plaza should do the trick. Agreed. We should all go for a visit once the war is over. Yeah, that would be nice. Squire, I... Yes, my queen? Th thank you for your honesty and for being a good friend. It may not seem like it, but I enjoy spending my time with you and Kamala. Me? A friend. Well, would you look at that? I'm friends with the queen. Does that mean I get a promotion as well? Don't push it, squire. Kidding! <laughs> I'm kidding. Also, the party was nice and all, but it's too bad that our dance got cut short. As awkward as we were, I did enjoy myself. Hey, how about we pick up where we left off? Are you mad? It's late. And look, the musicians have passed out. Almost everyone has passed out. Come on. Let's do something different for once. How about it? As much as I'd love to, Squire. I'll have to retire for the evening. Oh, I see. Well, we've got a kingdom to run, so I can understand that. Perhaps at a more apt time. We should invite Kamala as well. Yeah, you wouldn't want her getting angry. Now, you are free to celebrate at your leisure, but I must take my leave here. Good night, Beatrice. Beatrice? That's your name, isn't it? It is. I was just surprised that you didn't address me in the usual manner. Will you have my head for that? No, I would not, friend. You've earned it. In your own unusual way. Just don't call me out like that on a normal day. Hey, I know where I stand. Very good. Now, I must be off. Thank you for tonight, Squire. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what the hell are you laughing at, Hugh? She called you... Friend. Well, at least you tried, kiddo. Yeah. I, I... I don't know what you're talking about! Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's too early for you, I'll say. Yeah. Did you go back to being wasted? <laughs> I don't feel so good. Ugh, come on. I'll carry you home. Thanks. Yeah, I kind of figured I'd get the friendship ending, though. After the Alliance Day, we didn't see much of Beatrice. She spent the remaining weeks preparing for the war. I'll tell you how Hugh and I spent the time preparing for the big day, but come on, no one wants to hear about that. All you need to know is the Alkelsey warship eventually arrived. Speaking of the war... Tough. We didn't quit. I was ready for this. He was so cool. Anyways... WE WON! AGAIN! Peaceful times. Everyone was looking forward to Beatrice being queen. People aren't that afraid of her anymore. All those things she did to change her image sure paid off. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing her room. Speaking of things I'm looking forward to. Ah. Uh... Maybe I'm glad I didn't get in the way of that. I'm okay with that ending. More ladies than coming right up to Sherlock and someday this is story for another time. <laughs> Alright, well, <laughs> that was a second playthrough. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and we have saw that before. But, I'm going to do one more playthrough. Because, uh, we kinda went half with, uh, Kamala. We did halfway through Amy. We did one through Beatrice, one through Giselle. The only person we have barely touched at all is Vel. So, I'm going to do a Vel playthrough. And I'm gonna try <laughs> to get a romance ending, because now I've gotten two friendship endings, and <laughs> I'm sad. <laughs> so, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.